Hello, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live on day one from DSCI Japan at Chiba, Japan. And uh, nothing better than starting the day with the Japanese participation at the show, which is exclusively being planned by Clarion Events for a market in Japan and Indo-Pacific. We are here in front of the Alta and we are moving and let me take you around to show you how good the Japanese participation this year has been. This is the second DACI. We had the first one in 2019 but then uh, Covid took away the one which was supposed to have in, happen uh, in 21 and uh, of course now we have something which is happening now after Covid is far behind us. And you can see this is all Japan. This is all UH2 which is made in Japan. So you're, you're going to see a lot of stuff which is, you know, there's, there's going to be equipment, there's going to be arms, there's going to be a lot of things which are made here for the defense market of Japan and for the market in uh, the world over. Though Japan is still, uh, you know, coming over from where it had begun. Uh, so defense was never a very important uh, forte for it but it's suddenly since the last decade you see a jump in Japan's defense activities this is Kawasaki from Atla to Kawasaki and you also have IHI then you've got uh, as and when we proceed ahead I'll get you more and uh, you see a lot you see NTT data you're going to see Toshiba you're going to see most, most of the big Mitsubishi you're going to see Mitsui, you're going to see the big Japanese brands. So we're here at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, which is another very important Japanese industry, which is also at the moment making a lot of uh, solutions for cyber security. And uh, of course, uh, in addition to that, the traditional solutions for uh, signals and communication, and of course, the heavy ones for uh, uh, you know, interception, you have control systems, you've got hacking tools and whatnot, you know, so you've got everything here at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. You just had, uh, just about a moment back, you had a British delegation which was here and uh, Mitsubishi uh, is a global brand and a global name. And uh, you know, this is the DACI's presentation and representation here. It has been very exciting. So here we see a brand which is very, very popular, very, very common, very uh, pop, uh, known all over the world, which is Toshiba. And uh, Toshiba had its everything uh, from televisions to batteries to other things. But of course, this is the latest foray. It is made for itself. It is into the defense and security market not only for a Japanese market but also trying to be an international player when it comes to these solutions so you have a lot of things which are on display here so you've got your airborne surveillance radar and you have your unarmed system so you can see here there is an uh, there's a drone and uh, which you can see here and uh, it's been it's on display and attracting a lot of attention so this is another japanese brand which has always been a great brand which is now a very very exclusive defense and security solution brand in japan so we have here the ncs which is a very big uh, corporation here it's called the nippon Cor uh, control systems corporation which is showcasing itself here it's got a lot of systems which is showcasing and you can see you know um, all these products which are here this is uh, these are some of the companies which are part of this corporation so you got them all here and they're all uh, you know trying to showcase to the world rest of the world also it's not the it's not only the rest of the world which is showcasing but it's also japan showcasing to the rest of the world its capabilities so you find you know that uh, uh, there's a major showcasing here by Japan for uh, the, you know, other com uh, countries. You've got a lot of companies. It wants to improve its, uh, you know, uh, supply chain with the big OEMs. So you've got these small uh, MSMEs, uh, Japanese MSMEs here. And of course, here you've got Shin Meiwa Industries, famous for its beautiful uh, amphibious aircraft, which is US-2. You can see the model here, of course. And... Uh, 
at one time you know let me tell you that india was contemplating to buy it and shmiva had very big offices here in uh, delhi but somehow uh, it didn't work out and uh, which was hoping us to uh, which is a real beautiful aircraft becomes a part of the uh, indian forces sometimes in the future and uh, let's see you got uh, you got a lot on the wear here and we keep getting you everything from the japanese participation here at the <laughs> the crown is immense and uh, the japanese unmanned system here is creating a lot of query and uh, you can see the crowds we are trying to see the model is beautiful and we can just see we are just moving around and seeing Japan which is famous for its technology and uh, one of the biggest uh, as far as uh, technical advancement despite major setbacks in the last century it's come it's come out and it's come out beautifully and you have most of the Uh, most advanced countries to see here and i keep getting you uh, as and when i get to the other part of the japanese participation we are here again at another very big brand a japanese brand which is nec which is the nippon electronic corporation it is a big brand along with a lot of uh, small msmes a part of its supply chain it makes uh, you know new systems architecture for advanced satellites it has uh, the uh, active phase array radars then you have the high resolution multi viewing and imaging systems like you have the supercomputers you have the system invariant analysis technology then you've got the software defined receivers for satellites so there's lots and lots and lots with the nec and its partner companies which are the smaller supply chain companies are doing for the japanese industry which is also doing not only Only for the Japanese, but also that it's trying to showcase to the world that uh, what Japan can do for the rest of the world. It's not only about the rest of the world, uh, you know, trying to set its shop here. It's also about Japan trying to find clients in other parts of the world. And this is another set of Japanese companies which has its uh, supply chain in the Amer big American companies, the Mitsui Busan Aerospace Company Limited. So it's a collaboration. and uh, here when we come across and we just go ahead we come to these small companies which are all here which are japanese companies who are trying to sell that little little wares whatever they making for, for parts of uh, heavy machinery engineering equipment and you'll find all these companies are here Uh, they've all set up these very small shops for themselves where they're showcasing all that they have and uh, i think it's just wonderful you know because uh, it's a supply chain which is uh, uh, very very much visible available and japan with one of its highest technology concerns you'll find everything here but the fact is that how much do they uh, you know tell the world we exist so that is something which is very important this is something which we really want to tell the world uh, here is the motto that we want to tell the world we exist so which is uh, extremely nice so if you see uh, here you know all these small companies which are here they are all in these small uh, very very small uh, you know showcasing boots and uh, which also i don't think should be five should be financially very viable for them because uh, they are uh, you know very small and government has given a lot of uh, you know subsidy for them to set it up here and you'll find all of them here and here is something else a big brand with its supply chain which is beautifully if you see they are all showcasing their wares here now uh, this is the otochu and one day and uh, they all have you know cave space components and uh, you can see that they have their own uh, uh, challenge uh, challenges of setting it up setting them up here and which they have done they absolutely japanese they have their uh, supply chains here 
along with uh, where there are so you've got companies which have the materials which they are supplying and companies which are supplying the other uh, things to these uh, uh, you know there's equipment which is uh, signal and communication there is equipment for arms and ammunition there's equipment for even uh, you know uniforms so you'll find everything here and amix this you find a big japanese brand the ntt data now ntt data if you give you a little bit of uh, history over it ntt of course is a very big uh, software giant india has but ntt data if you uh, like you know uh, it was uh, a part of the uh, dell which is broke off and uh, ntt uh, was taken part of this broke off and came from uh, a collaboration with the us and so it was uh, a part of the dell which got taken over and uh, so you have you know a very major us collaboration in this company and uh, many of them are coming from us but of course ntt is basically a very big software giant uh, in japan so you have them participating they've got their uh, and along with it if you see you will find all everything which is required uh, for uh, you know the small small things required and uh, in any part of uh, uh, defense and security setups everybody has Oh, however small, however big, they're all here. They're all showcasing, so you can really actually see. And uh, when we move ahead, you know, we have Ansys, which is American, but then Ansys, which is very majorly in Japan. So you find uh, Ansys here, and uh, Ansys you find everywhere. So it's a very major uh, collaboration with the U.S. U.S. has had traditionally a very important collaboration with Japan. So if you find, you know, uh, many a times uh, you move and you see, and then of course here you see the Mitsufuji. Uh, now everybody who's ever had anything to, to do with cameras knows Fuji, uh, and uh, any all, all of us who match our uh, lifestyles uh, with our steps taken, so that uh, uh, you know we calculate how much of exercise we do. You you will find that they've got their bands with their showcasing here. When we are covering Japan participation, we just of course cannot miss this. It's the major network channel for security, business and technology, NSBD Japan. And you'll find that uh, they are here. Uh, it's, they've got news, they've got, um, you know, they've got uh, security solutions. Uh, then they've got uh, television. Uh, they've got uh, major partnerships with a lot of uh, foreign companies. And uh, you'll find that they're all here and, uh, you know, trying to uh, tell the world that this is what we do. And uh, Japan is a very major market and you'll find that uh, the NSBT has a very major, uh, you know, presence here. Uh, the news uh, part of it is, of course, uh, getting everybody ready and, uh, you know, trying to talk to everybody and uh, doing the major coverage. They're the major media for the event. And here is another uh, group of companies which is the Kako, which is again Japanese. So they have, uh, you know, products which they've made for a lot of uh, companies who got together. And then they have products on, uh, you know, precision tubes, pipes, and uh, then they've got uh, shields and plates, electromagnetic shielding and plating. Uh, there are various technologies required. So this is a uh, Omura, Kako and YVK together. So you'll find them all here and uh, you know sh showcasing their show wares to everybody here. And here is something which we couldn't really have missed which is the unmanned systems representation of Jap the Japanese defense industry Hamadori. So you'll find this beautiful little unmanned system here and uh, they uh, have uh, they're showcasing it to the rest of the world trying to tell them that uh, look this is what we do we have our own unmanned system so they do have you know the man and man teaming by at the very high levels being done by sea guardian which is uh, general atomics and um, here we've got a line uh, you know you've got another company you know japan's famous for its cameras and you'll find that they're all here they're all trying to tell you that systems of uh, uh, you know uh, it's an aerospace exhibition 
so uh, it's uh, uh, not uh, its defense systems but you also hear if you see here you all small shops where you have uh, these you can see here you know you can see they're all making these small small components and uh, here it's a wolf ssl japan which again is popular so uh, you'll find those uh, you know uh, wearings and things which are required by the forces and of course here is um, uh, international aerospace exhibition advertisement so it's very very uh, surprising and very nice to see that japan apart from the dsei now also plans and uh, a show which is uh, an air show so i think uh, well, one of the good things to have happened and one thing some things which we really enjoy and we have IHI here which is another very major Japanese brand which uh, is going to get uh, you know its strength in Japan's defense capabilities and uh, I, IHI has ocean monitoring services like you can see it has amphibious vehicles and uh, you know it has a very major maritime domain uh, this thing presence so you also have the uh, MC Awaji Hirado, which is uh, the largest minesweeper, Japanese minesweeper, which has been made by them. And uh, they've got their products in them also. And uh, here it is a uh, MRO activity. So they have total seven shipyards in Japan. So five shipyards for naval vessel maintenance. And uh, uh, IHI is a uh, complete defense engine <laughs> capability. So you'll find them uh, everywhere. And uh, here is uh, a little uh, about them. So they have CB, uh, they've got C this CBRN, which is chemical, biological, uh, nuclear warfare. So they've got the early warning systems and decontamination systems. So you really have a lot of things which you can see here happening at the IHI. It's a very major part of uh, uh, the Japan's uh, indigenous uh, equipment.